Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching another motivational cleaning video. Today I'm taking you along with me as I attack the mess in our kids room. We're unpacking a few boxes for them, organizing, setting up their new bedding and adding a few touches to their room to decorate the space. If you're new here or if this isn't your first time watching and you're wondering about the move, I will have our moving in video along with our new home tour in the description box for you if you would like to see it. As I said earlier, today we're still unpacking toys, books, shoes, and just trying to create those spaces in our baby's room that's a perfect fit for them. We still have changes to be made, but honestly, once we were done with their room, we had made so much progress, or at least we felt like we made so much progress. I'm starting by stripping the boys' bed for their new sheets, bedding, and pillows. I did grab them a few extra things from Target, and they also have a few of my older pillows that I'm going to do like some decorating for their sitting area in the future with. So I'm just stripping everything just so I can get out some fresh linen so I can go ahead and get their bed all made up. As you guys can see, we did go ahead and stack the bunk beds again because the room that the boys have now is not as big as the other room, and we can't really separate them without them having literally like no space. So with that being said maybe in a couple months I am going to downsize their bunk bed and maybe get them a smaller bunk bed so it's not so big and doesn't take up so much space so be looking out for that video because I will be switching things up just to open up the space in here so they can play and just get the feel of having a new room and really just have the space to work around in it We do have some decor for the boys that we have been holding on to for almost two months. I had planned on decorating sooner, but of course we moved and now we finally get that chance. So this will be the very first time that the boys room will be completed as far as decor and we really love how it turned out. But before we get to add any decor, I wanted to make sure that the boys closet and this space right here was completely cleaned and organized just so whenever we go ahead and put the decor out, we can feel and sense the progress that we've made so far. So right now I'm just going to clean and organize the closet and get the boxes unpacked. Surprise. Oh, oh, there's 
The boys' closet really consisted of shoes, a box of new decor, a box of books, and their toys were already organized in bins. So I really just needed to debox everything and find it a new home. So as I was cleaning today, as you guys can see, Jonah was right on my heel. So a part of the reason why I did the things I did today as far as organizing and getting things all set up was honestly because he wanted to play and I didn't want to take away any time from him. So we went ahead and got everything done as fast as possible, honestly, and then I moved on to London's room. However, I love how everything is set up so far. I might make some tweaks here and there, but so far everything has turned out perfect. Take your time and rip it slowly, baby Got the hungry So right now I'm just going to organize the boys toys in this five drawer plastic dresser. I think I picked this up from Walmart about two months ago and honestly I wish I would have done this sooner because it is so convenient for the boys. We were able to organize all of their toys according to category and it is so helpful for them because Jonah can just walk in there and play with exactly what he wants to play with and he doesn't have to drag all the toys out. It has just been amazing. So we went ahead and got that organized and on top of that we were able to get rid of one huge toy bin which actually allow for more space in the boys closet so I was so happy with that. Here on the boys dresser, I'm just going to wipe it down. I'm using my Mrs. Meyer multi-surface cleaner in the scent Lemon Verbana. I absolutely love this. It smells so good. We at the time did have the turtle aquarium on the dresser along with their TV, but we have moved the turtle aquarium downstairs because believe it or not, y'all, they were so upset that they weren't getting as much attention all the way upstairs. So since we moved them, they have been so much more active. And yes, we did get them some fresh water. Jacqueline got it done, I think, on the night I filmed this video. So here in the boys closet, since they didn't have a closet door, like our room, we wanted to add white curtains. This way we can just hide whatever is in the closet with the boys. We all know that it's going to be a mess in there. So this curtain will hide just that. And I didn't want to add the curtain to the window because I do have new curtains that I'm putting up in the upcoming week just to complete their room. So we held off on that for today.
Once we got an idea for the boys room, Jake went hung everything. The boys went with Superhero, The Avengers, and if you are loyal in this life of mine, then you know that we've been rocking with them well before Jonah was even moved into a big boy room with Jaden. The boys both love The Avengers so much, and everything honestly about the boys is the same down to a T when it comes to their likes and interests. So we've had it not necessarily easy, but I wouldn't say hard either. We've had the same superhero toys and have been piecing this decor together for like, honestly, I want to say two years now. And it's coming together now and Jaden and Jonah couldn't be happier. So the canvas picture we have of Jaden, we've had this for a few years now. It's one of my favorite pictures that I took of Jaden. My baby brother surprised Jaden with this for Christmas and it was honestly my favorite gift that year that he received. My brother made it himself for a class project because he is a graphic designer and he just makes so much cool stuff y'all, I'm, I'm jealous. I'll show you guys in upcoming videos because he honestly has been asking me to decorate his apartment for a while now, so we're going to be doing that soon. Watch me dancing in the colors, lightning, blowing up a thunder, wash it over me. We got everything we need, right? Watch me dancing in the colors, lightning, blowing up a thunder, wash it over me. Yeah, we got everything we need right I was so excited to be adding the finishing touches to the boys room. I added fresh linen and we went with the colors gray and blue for their beds. Their room looked and felt so much better.
So here's how the boys' room looked once I was done. Their room had turned out better than I expected. They have a space to play and have all the things that bring them joy along with everything they need. And that's what lets me know my job here is completely done. We organized the kids' toys, putting their favorite or smaller toys in a plastic dresser. Completely organized according to if it's a car, sensory toys like poppets, wrestling men, small animal toys, and a random bin for their toys. At the top of the closet, we have bigger toys that we don't pull out as often and the room doesn't get as crazy. When you come out of the boys room we have a hallway and right now it's filled with just a bunch of random things from cleaning and then things we haven't really put away i'm going to get this area clean and move everything out of the way and then move on to london's room another season we leave behind another story that's got me blind Later that day, we went ahead and tackled London's room. I wanted to wait so she would be surprised. This was a couple days before her birthday and I wanted her room to be all set up right before she had her special day turning four. London honestly had a lot of small things that needed to be picked up and put away. We hadn't even put her TV up yet and I was so scared that she was gonna break it. So today I wanted to go ahead and get all of her things picked up, put away, organized as much as I could. And then Jaquen came in to decorate just like we did in the boys room. I did intend on like moving or rearranging her room around because I noticed she didn't have a ton of space to play. And I just wanted to open up this space a little bit more. I did run into a few challenges going that route too, but we got it all figured out by the time this room was complete. So just like the boys, London had new sheets and a comforter for her bed and I was honestly so positive that I got her a mattress cover too, but I couldn't find it so I'll just have to add that in the upcoming week. I loved how her room looked once I added her new bed set so I was really itching to see the end results from the decor. Oh, 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 oh,
I did add a few extra pillows to London's bed to make it full. Since I co-slept with London, she has a hard time sleeping alone in her room. But since she's had all of her pillows and we set them up before bed, she loves sleeping in her room every night. She also got a new small, smaller pillow from Target that she loved. And it just looks so cute. Y'all, I almost definitely got lucky with my daughter because she is so into fashion and colorful things. You can just see all the time like how bright her spirit is and I love it. So here in front of London's bed, we have her dresser. She have a few pictures and some flowers from my mom that my mom passed down to her. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to hang that up. She also has her dollhouse on her dresser. But my plan for this area is to hang her TV. Well, for Jake, wanna hang her TV. And then we're just gonna decorate her dresser and then it'll all come together. So at first I honestly wanted to add the princess theme to London's room but then I changed my mind because that was what I wanted London to have and London is honestly really into fashion, decor, hair, like nails, just colorful things you guys. She is so into that so I wanted to switch things up and the last time we were at my mom's house London was seriously going crazy over these two fashion photos that my mom had in her bedroom so my mom ended up giving them to london and london loves them so we just went ahead and put those two canvases on the wall and then added like some shelving to her walls with some plants and it was really cute it turned out perfect Isn't it my birthday yet? Yeah, Cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. Get in my groove now, don't be shy. Cause I got the system, my favorite things. You could be the part where it all begins. You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it. You could be one of the things I love Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door locked I like everything that has a cherry on top Get on my list of the things I love, love, love You could be the one I trust All the second chances say I'm nothing for right I like it all with the cherry on top So above London's bed, we really just wanted to keep it simple London loves her daddy and she loves flowers so we just had some extra shelving that we had that I actually used in our bedroom a while ago and our living room so now we're using it in London's bedroom Jake went hung that and like I said we added a, her favorite picture of her and her daddy and then I picked up some super cute like two or three dollar plants from the Target dollar spot and I added those on top of the shelves and the look really came together you could be one of the things I love Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door locked I like everything that has a cherry on top Get on my list of the things I love, love, love You could be the one I trust All the second chance I say I'm nothing for right I like it all with the cherry on top Be one of the things I love The things I love, the things I love Things I love, the things I love, the things I love, the things I love, be one of the things I love. 
On the other side of London's bed, we had a bookshelf for her and we added a mirror above it and I absolutely love how the look turned out. However, we have since moved London's room, you know, we moved the bookshelf to open up the space and I'll share how much of a difference it made for her room at the end of today's video. Get in my way now, don't be shy. For London's toys, I wanted to organize everything in her cube organizer. I organized it according to dolls, doll clothes, purses, dollhouse decor, and her shelves now have decor, books, and she has a fish tank. She doesn't officially have a fish yet, but we do have her fish tank set out just so we can get her prepared for that one day.
So at the end of London's Room, I was so happy with how grown up it was. Her turning four this month really has hit me like a hot potato, but it's been a joy. As I said earlier, they have a space to play and have all the things that bring them joy along with everything they need and that's what lets me know that my job here is done. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and without further ado, I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye!